Hi friends, I know it's been a minute since you saw my face, but I'm so sorry. I took a little break for the springtime. I'm just trying to reset, but I have a new recipe coming your way today. White chicken chili in the Instant Pot. Don't we just love those Instant Pot recipes? Here in Chicago, it is warming up but it's not quite warm but you would love this white chicken chili recipe because it is filling it goes far and it'll be perfect to cook in this time where we're stuck at home and we can't really go anywhere and we need to cook to feed our families but we want the food to stretch so this is a perfect recipe for you guys so stay tuned and enjoy the white chicken chili Okay, friends, first what I did was saute the vegetables. I sauteed garlic as well as green peppers. As those were sauteing on top of the olive oil, I added the chicken. It was really important for me for the flavors to do what I like to call marry all together. So while the vegetables were sauteing, I then, after they got a little soft, I added the chicken breast and season them with the cumin you're going to season both sides with the cumin you're going to also season it with black pepper and you're also going to season it with chili powder now again you're going to season both sides but at the time you're going to allow it to cook and cook up together along with those sauteed vegetables and once one side is completely cooked throughout you're going to flip it and add the seasoning to the other side. At this point, your Instant Pot is on the saute function. talking about sauteing it for a specific period of time I would probably say maybe about five minutes before you flip it um, you want it to completely uh, saute and cook throughout on the one side before you flip it again it's not super entirely important that the chicken breast is cooked from the inside all the way out because remember we're going to use the instant pot function and cook the chicken breast again Now you're going to take the chicken out and of course you're going to have those wonderful bits that you're going to scrape up that is our good 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 flavoring that we love to add to our dishes then you're going to add the tomato and green pepper chili a can of that to the mix the saute function is on this entire time you're going to then add in your beans I use the white cannellini beans as well as also added a can of chicken broth if you're going off measurements I believe that's about two cups in a can of chicken broth for this particular recipe I did choose to use the low sodium chicken broth and that's because I think this recipe has enough sodium in already so you don't want to kind of add to that with your chicken broth but of course that is to preference I had white cannellini beans as well as chickpeas <music> Thank you. 
after you stir all of that together, you're going to take out your chicken breast and start to pull it apart as well as dice it. I do not like my chicken super pulled apart. I like to chop it as opposed to pull it apart in strips. That's just a personal preference of mine. So you can do whatever it is that you choose to do, but you definitely want to pull it apart so the chicken will cook throughout. Um, just as a side note, I did have chicken breasts, but the chicken breasts that I used in this recipe were thinly sliced. I would certainly suggest the same to you in your own recipe. It goes a little further and it's easier to chop. Now that you have diced up your chicken, you're going to add that back into the chili mixture as well as I added another can of the red, excuse me, the tomatoes and green pepper chilies. I also had a bag of frozen onions, peppers, and uh, strips. They come in strips and they already come chopped and frozen. I also added some ranch dressing which was kind of a last minute touch but that's something that I wanted to add to try out the flavoring of course if you know me I am a huge fan of ghee so I added some ghee as well as some more cumin this is a Latin dish so of course I'm going to overdose on the cumin because you just can't get enough of that flavor at least I can't after that, you're going to place the top on your Instant Pot and cook it for approximately 25 minutes on manual and you can then do a natural release. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, I made my own tortillas by toasting some tortilla bread, spraying it with olive oil and putting some cumin on it and putting it in the oven. And now you can see that the chicken chili is almost, almost all the way together. So you'll see the consistency, but this is the point where we would add the block of cream cheese. I chose to put it on warm and just allow the cream cheese to naturally melt but if you want to speed up that process a little bit more you are more than welcome to add um, I would probably say maybe about five minutes to pressurize it and pressure cook it but I just wanted to slow cook it and allow the cream cheese to naturally melt on its own <music> And there you go, you see the white chicken chili looking amazing, nice and creamy. This is such a filling dish and it tastes so good, especially with the cumin and the uh, tortillas. It just works wonderfully. I chose to eat it with some avocados. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will have more videos coming your way. And I got a website coming for you soon. Stay tuned, guys. Bye.